before I was in real estate, I actually was a furniture maker. Before real estate, I was a supply chain and finance guy uh, doing merchandise planning in the Navy Yard. So what I did before real estate, I was working as a bartender. Prior to real estate, I worked in the legal industry for 24 years. Before I um, was in real estate, I worked at a hospital here in the city of Philadelphia, managing um, union staff of over 600 people with about 40 direct reports. So before getting into real estate, I was actually going to law school. Um, I was going to Fordham University School of Law up in New York. It was there that I started to actually work with a developer here in Philadelphia, and that was really my bridge in, into real estate. So what did I do before real estate? So I've been in real estate, or I've been in sales my entire life. I worked for a dental implant company for 10 years and um, transitioned to real estate three and a half years ago. What did I do before real estate? I uh, had a number of different jobs. I graduated college, um, went on to do some uh, athletic coaching that probably lasted about a year, got into bartending, some bar backing, things like that, uh, and then moved on and decided to get my real estate license in 2007. Before real estate, I was in the healthcare profession. Um, I was in healthcare probably for about uh, between seven to 10 years. Before real estate, um, I had done a lot of things. I had run for office, I had owned a bar and restaurant, I had invested in real estate full time, um, worked as a help desk consultant, and I uh, was an undergraduate in finance. I got into real estate because I was investing part time on the side in multifamily buildings and had a real passion for it. And I got into it when I met Jeremy. Uh, so a friend of mine introduced him to me and Jeremy said, why aren't you doing this full time? And I said, well, cause it's scary as shit to leave your full time job and be 100% commission. So uh, Jeremy convinced me to take the dive. I left my company and uh, dove in head first into real estate. Why did I get into real estate? I came to a point where I was either going to have to, you know, take a loan out and start a shop, or um, I befriended my landlord, who was a great guy, and I pitched him, hey, I can renovate your apartments, I'm a hungry college kid looking for money for the summer. He said no, he tossed me some keys and he said, you can rent my apartments if you want, so I, I tried it out and I just took to it. You know, I, I was always good at selling my furniture. Um, not realizing that the sales ability was, I guess, my niche. I got into real estate, honestly, because I had I was out of college for a few years and, and didn't know what else to do, to be honest with you. I, I saw people um, just in the business and, and thought it might be something that I like. I really have no uh, specific motivation to get it other than, other than I had no idea what else to do at that time in my life. Why did I get into real estate? Um, I saw my husband Jeremy and his business partners thrive and flourish. I really noticed that they enjoyed being entrepreneurs and in charge of their own destiny as far as um, their careers. And um, I was tired of working for corporate America and having corporate America tell me what my goals and aspirations should be. So um, I saw all the financial freedom that you can gain in real estate. And um, I made the switch cold turkey. I quit and I went right into real estate. What do I enjoy about KW? Um, well, first and foremost, the, the things that attracted me to it, because I was previously at another brokerage, was how agent-centric it is. They're very fair to their agents, um, and they really do put you uh, first. And in what ways? I mean, first and foremost, I, I think the commission splits are very generous um, and does really incentivize people to not only um, work hard, but even to grow teams. Um, and I think in this business, that's certainly a goal that a lot of people have. And in addition to that, all KW offices are franchise owned. Um, and any of the agents who contribute to the profitability of the office in, in the form of recruiting other agents get to participate in that profit. That was something I didn't know at the time when I first joined, uh, but it's certainly something that um, I look forward to participating in the future and it's something that um, it's something that I see like long-term growth here in. How I enjoy about Keller Williams is the culture, the training and continuing education they have. I think it's second to none. Uh, I've been with Coldwell Banker, I uh, know a bit about Berkshire and what they have going and nothing compares to Keller Williams in this office. 
especially. Um, also unique to this office is just the leaders within here. Uh, everyone's approachable. You have some of the biggest agents in the city to learn from and we're constantly growing every day. So um, that's what I really enjoyed when I made the move over to this office. I joined KW. One, I was actually closing a deal with one of the agents here and I dropped off an earnest money deposit check and the music was playing and everyone was smiling and it was an environment I wasn't really accustomed to at my previous brokerage. So me being very curious, I was like, what's going on here? So I started like peeking around and trying to figure out what was going on in the office and maybe three months later, I came back and I signed up with um, Jeremy. What I love about KW is that they don't just pat you on the back for doing a lot of real estate deals. They push you and they make you focus on actually growing your real estate business. So they don't look at you as an individual realtor, they look at you as a business owner and they look how they can cultivate you, which is what the, the draw was for me because you get to a certain point, you sell enough real estate, you think, okay, what's next? How am I gonna evolve? And they give you the, the keys to the kingdom. In terms of feeling like an entrepreneur running your own business. I, I like that um, with KW, they're constantly giving you information on how to be better, how to improve, encouraging you to take classes. How has my business now evolved? Well, um, I had started out at my first year in, in real estate, I probably did five million. Um, and I uh, noticed that hiring an assistant early on was important to do because if you want that balance and if you want to have another eyes and ears to help you in this process, I, I think a lot of people wait too long and they always can burn out from this, this job because it's, it's 24 hours, 7 days a week um, if you're doing it alone. So being smart about your business and hiring the right help um, was, was how I've evolved and when I noticed that it was either the time for me to hire a full-time assistant and to keep doing this alone or to transition to a seasoned team that already had that support staff. That's why I transitioned to Keller Williams and to the Home Experts for You team because I wanted that support. I wanted like-minded people around me to help me get to that next level in my business. So before I met Jeremy, I was working for a leasing company up in, uh, in North Philadelphia around Temple. I did um, you know, $1,500 apartment leases where I was getting 50%. And I was doing pretty good there. Jeremy saw the talent. You know, I did 50 rentals in about two months. And then I did a million dollar deal. And Jeremy kind of saw that talent and reached out to me and said, hey man, come in for a meeting. Let's see if we can take your business to the next level. He had me working with another guy in our office um, who kind of had the same vision and goals as I did. And we went from, you know, leasing a couple apartments to, I think we had 26 listings in our first three or four months. We started to work with builders and investors. And we did, between the two of us, 12 million in sales that year. Um, and, and uh, you know, that was kind of Jeremy's coaching and, and strategy. As far as my business now, um, I've been in the business for the past three years. I uh, got my license in October of 2015, and since I entered the profession, I've seen a huge difference from when I first became a realtor and, and where I am now. My business has grown uh, substantially each year. My volume has increased, but more importantly, uh, my expertise, knowledge, uh, integrity and connecting with people has been the most valuable. How has my business evolved now? Uh, since coming to K Keller Williams, I used to be an individual agent. Uh, I've started a team um, and we've we've really kind of, 2018 was our, our best year, my best year to date, and our team had a really good year. We reached our goals uh, and I see us continuing to grow as a team and uh, you know with the ability to help our clients. So I think the biggest thing how my business has evolved since joining KW is just uh, their structure has allowed me to build a, a team, a, a highly efficient team. My business before KW, I was like I said, I was at, I've been at other brokerages. Um, and what I like about here is the culture is one of a team of professionals that are doing bigger things. Um, there are a lot of people in this office who, besides real estate sales, they're investors, developers, builders, um, and it's great to interact with them. 
Uh, but even if you're not interacting, you're witnessing and it gives you a model of aspiration, uh, which is important. Why people should talk to Jeremy is because he's a huge support, you know. He, he will always take care of you. So when he says to you that he'll do whatever he can to have your back and make sure he grows your business, he really does guarantee that. He, he backs that guarantee. Uh, you know, everybody goes up and down with their business and they have good things and bad things happen to them, but he's he doesn't run away when the bad things happen. He's right next to you helping you out. When the good things happen, he says, hey, don't forget, you still have to keep prospecting. You have to still keep doing the foundational stuff to continue to grow. So he's a huge support system and he really, he really believes and loves what he does. Why should a person talk to Jeremy and Keller Williams? Like I said before, you know, he's been there. He has sweat equity in the game. He understands what it's like to start from scratch. And um, he cares. A lot of people just, you know, they bring you in and then, you know, you're fed to the wolves. That's not how Jeremy operates. He is not going to have you come on his team if he doesn't want you to succeed. He's going to push you. If you want to be pushed, if you want to, you know, be your type of person that's going to help want to set some goals for yourself and have somebody on your side, that's what you're going to get from Jeremy and with the K KW team and everyone here is a team. I can see that um, you're not in your own um, silo, you know, out there on your own island. Um, you're with people that are all really hungry go-getters that are entrepreneurs. You should talk to Jeremy and Keller Williams. I mean, Jeremy is just someone who's really good at figuring out what is best for you and your future. Um, you should definitely talk to Jeremy about KW and about real estate because he really is instrumental and he's serious about helping people. Why should a person talk to Jeremy? I mean, for all the reasons that I just listed, I think, you know, he's a great motivator. Uh, he cares about uh, cares about working with you and, and creating, uh, helping you create a better future for yourself. And then, um, he knows what he's doing. I mean, the guy used to sell like 400 units a year, so you can't argue with that. Why would you want to talk to KW or Jeremy or, or this office? Um, I think it's something that if you're looking to just get into sales of real estate, uh, it's a great place to learn, uh, to network. Uh, and I feel that amongst the big brokerages, um, you're always you're going to get training from all three um, or four, however many you might consider. What it's unique about KW is their systems and structures are set to build your business and it takes you from being an individual agent um, and growing your business that way if you wanted to or there's also a track for being on a team and growing your business that way. Somebody should talk to Jeremy or Keller Williams Philly if they're looking to propel their business to another level. There's a lot of resources here at Keller Williams that can help you. As I mentioned, you know, we're exposed to some really big teams um, in Philadelphia and they regularly educate you on how to, how to grow your business. And it can be as simple as, you know, forming your first 12 month marketing plan or putting together your first 33 touch program or your eight by eight programs. Um, they kind of walk you through why you should be doing this when you need to be including. They oftentimes even give you their plan. Um, they don't feel threatened that you're gonna be stealing their clients because there's so many people out in the city who need help in real estate. Um, and they're excited for you to capture some market share as well. And so being exposed to people like that, I mean, you really can propel your business. So if that's something that you're looking forward to doing, I, I would certainly reach out to Jeremy and Keller Williams Philly. Jeremy's impact on me and, and uh the office, the culture of the office. I think that coming into an office where there are highly successful people doing a lot of business, um, it's going to motivate somebody and it's going to really kind of speed up the process of being successful in real estate. It can take a little bit of time, but when you're around the right people getting the proper training, uh, you can really kind of fast track that to success and uh, you know make it a sustainable career.